My story today is so shocking, I almost didn't believe it until they provided us with proof. Brittany is an 18-year-old girl who is having a sexual relationship with her own biological father. Um, my guess is Brittany. Brittany, why are you here? Um, I'm here to tell everyone that I'm in love with my father. And I've been having sexual relationships with him ever since I was 18. Well, you are 18, right? Yes. Okay, and you're sleeping with your father. Now, I've been doing a show for like four years now, and they tell me this story, you know, there's this young girl, she's gonna be on the show, she's sleeping with her father. And I'm like, no way. There's no way somebody's gonna come on my show and say they're sleeping with their father. I didn't believe it, and you proved to us that this is actually a true story. This isn't something you made up. Uh, you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And you're the one who insisted on taking it. Mm -hmm. um, you took the lie detector test. You passed it, uh, telling the truth of, as far as you sleeping with your father. How does this happen? Well, when I was seven, I never knew my uh, dad un until then. And you met him when you were seven years old? Yes, and I didn't know that he was my father. And we went and took a lie um, DNA test. Yeah. And it comes to find out that I am his daughter. And when did you take the DNA test? When I was seven. When you were seven? Mm -hmm. So at seven years old, um, and you provided us with uh, proof of that DNA test that was mm -hmm. uh, given, and he is your biological father. But at seven years old, didn't you develop normal feelings of this is my, my dad? Well, my uh, family members took me away from my uh, dad, and I really never knew him. Like, I didn't know nothing about him, nothing. When did, when did you start becoming aware, start living, start spending time with your father? At what age? Well, I was 16, and I met him on MySpace. I looked him up. So and you were looking for your dad? Yes. And I had pictures of my boobs and my butt on there. And he sent me a comment saying that um, my little babe girl should not be doing that stuff. And so so that, that's like a normal responsible father? Yeah, but he had a, smi a smiley face on it. And when I saw it, it kind of made me think like, yeah, I think that he, he has sexual feelings for me. What happened after that then? Well, and then I uh, ran away and I came. You ran away from who was taking care of you at the time? Yes. You were 16. Mm -hmm. You ran away. And I was at the bus station and I was supposed to be there for eight hours. So I called my dad and my dad came out all the way up there just to get me. So after that, I stayed there for about three, three uh, nights and I just turned a 18. So and he bought me some alcohol yeah and one thing led to another and we and we did it but you know normally that statement you know i understand one thing leads to another um, between two people that are attracted to each other but how does one thing lead to another with between a father and his daughter when i look at him it's like a different thing i have the best of both worlds he tells me what's wrong and what's right and that's the father of him he tells me to go, to go to school and stuff, but I know I, but I don't want to. But he tells me to, because he's also my uh, dad. But when we're in bed and we're kissing and we're hugging and making love, it's it's different. <laughs> we 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 just look at it in another way. How do you look at it? I mean, at first I thought it was wrong, but sometimes wrong does feel, feel, feel right. And it felt right to actually be happy for, for uh, once. Okay. Why are you here today? Well, I'm tired of keeping it a secret. It's been a secret for nine months now. And You've been sleeping with your father for nine months? Yes. And we are actually in a relationship. And... I don't look at him like that, though. You don't look at him like what? Like, like he's also my uh, dad, and it's wrong. Because to me, it's not. Are you planning on having children with your father? Well, 
I want a sperm donor, and he wants a segregate mother, you know? And we've already discussed this. I already told him I don't want his sperm in anybody else but me. How's your, uh, how does your father treat you? Really good. He doesn't uh, physically abuse you besides no. the sexual contact? No. Um, what do you look at him as, as, as a father or as a boyfriend? A boyfriend, more. A boyfriend. Let's bring out your dad and your lover, Morgan. You know what? I don't even know if I have the stomach to even continue with this show. Um, you probably need to see a doctor and get some kind of therapy and really sort of some help. Um, and you know, this show, what I really try to do is I try to help people, uh, try to project out to the world all the evils that are out there so we can protect our children. And here, in this case, we have a father who not only preys upon his own daughter, takes advantage of her. Praise. Praise. Oh, I'm not praying upon her. Are yeah. you sleeping you're, with her? Yeah, but you're First of all, why are you sitting in my chair? Get the hell out of my chair! Get the hell out of my chair! Yes, yes. I never raised her. Get out of, I never, get out of my chair. Get out of my chair. I never chair. changed her diapers. Get, listen, I have never fed her. Stand up out of my chair. I have chair. never done stand any up. of that. Stand up and okay? talk to me. You're a man. You could talk to me on your yeah, feet. Yeah, I am a man. There you go. There you go. Open the door, and there's this beautiful girl. She's you your know. daughter. And? She's your biological daughter. So, so what? You know what? Let me tell you something. You know, what makes a parent, okay? I was never in her life. She was never in my You're life. You're her father. So? I mean, you know, you hear stuff like that going on all the time. You can change a lot of things in life. I'm you not can't changing change nothing. You can't change the fact that this is your blood. She's happy. I'm happy. She's We're happy. Involved. That's you all that matters. What? You know what? You know, I'm supposed to read from these cards. I can't even use these cards. Yeah. Um, She's happy, right? That's right. She's happy. That's right. Okay. You're happy. That's right. You're happy because, right. you know, you're a sick bastard who enjoys sleeping. Oh, I'm a sick bastard? Yeah, okay. a sick bastard. Why am I a sick bastard? What, because you don't agree with it? Because what? You don't agree with it? No, or because I don't agree with it. You know why? Not to do it? Because you're going to destroy your daughter's life. How am I going to destroy her life? You tell me that. How? What? How am I destroying it? I'm giving her a better life. You're giving How? her a better yeah, life of by I am. sleeping with her. Oh, wow. Again, we're in love, OK? It's you different. should love your daughter. And your daughter should love you. I don't look at her like my daughter. I look at her as my girlfriend. I, I don't care. She, here's your daughter, and she's talking about that you, you talk about bringing children into the world. No, we're not. Yeah, she said you are. No, we're not going to no, do that. Oh, you're not going to do that? No. Uh, why, 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 why wouldn't you do that? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to the child. Absolutely oh. not. You won't do that to the child? I don't see a child here, do you? You know what? What malfunction do you have going on inside your brain that would cause you to even entertain this idea, let alone act on it? Again, I never raised her. Nothing like that. She's, so you're I've seen just, her maybe twice you're the in my biggest, whole life. most selfish guy that ever walked across the stage. What's so selfish about it? Because I'm not being selfish. Are you being selfish? To I feel, satisfy I feel your sexual, you feel to satisfy yeah, your sexual needs. You'll it has nothing to do with sexual needs. Well, then what is it? I told you what it was. You said attractive she girl. Me, I love her. Again, you're her together. father. We're she's happy your daughter. together. She had sex with you the first time, and she called you daddy, right? Yeah. And you don't find that sick? No, I've had a few girls call me daddy. You're engaging in sexual intercourse with your daughter. Your daughter's looking at you while you're having sex with her, and she's saying daddy. No, she's not looking at me like, her, like I'm her dad. Mm -mm. She's calling you daddy. You are her dad. How oh, are you just mixing so that happens up? That, yeah, I am oh, her dad. Oh, it just so happens yeah. you're her dad. Yeah, so I see where you're going with it. When you're engaging in sexual intercourse with your father, do you call him daddy? Yeah. And why do you call him daddy? Well, because it's in, it's entertainment. I mean, it makes him, him, you know. Do people suspect about the two of you? Yes. 
Why? Well, um, I have two, two tattoos, and one of them are like... You have tattoos? Yes. Let me see them. Brittany and Morgan. And what, what's the other tattoo? Daddy's girl. Daddy's girl, which looks like a devil engaging in a sexual position with a young lady. Yes, because he's a devil. See, blue-eyed devil is right on his head. The fact that now she's marked her body. What other man's going to look at her and say, you were, you were sleeping with your own father? That's right. And you're OK with it. But I'm doing it. Somewhere in life, you got failed. Somebody failed you, your mother, your father, whoever it was in charge of you to raise you, to instill morals and values, and make good decisions, they failed you. Um, and no matter how you might hate me for saying this, and you might leave the show and hate me forever, the fact remains, you have a man that is your biological father who is taking advantage of you, who is preying upon you, and that will do you nothing but harm. The physical good feelings that you're feeling, that only lasts for a while. That doesn't last forever, and that's enough. That's not enough to bond two people together forever. You're going to wake up one day and say, what the hell am I doing? And you're going to grow to hate me. Um, again, you guys are adults. You're not killing. You're not doing anything. Um, I don't know if the law would look at this as abuse. I myself look at it as abuse. Um, I wish you could be arrested for it, and maybe you can. Um, but you'll leave the stage. What I would like to impart to you, and even to you, because you need help. Whether you think you do or not, you need help. You need some kind of psychologist, therapist, whatever. You need professional medical advice to know what you're doing wrong. You certainly, the offers, you can leave the stage. You're going to go live your life. But if we could ever help you, if you ever feel like this is a situation you need to be removed from, you need help, no matter what I think about this, you can call back in a year, two years, five years, I will help you. I will help everything I do to help you out of that situation. Um, I would love to see you walk off stage by yourself and say, Steve, I'll take all the help in the world. I need to get out of this. I don't think that's a decision that you want to make right now. Is it? No. You want to leave with your father, right? Yes. Um, I only wish for you that someday that you'll see that somebody steps in your life, uh, snaps you out of this bad dream, that you'll, you'll get to enjoy your life. Um, and you, you're going to look back and you're going to say, man, I, I destroyed my daughter's life. Oh, thank take, you. Take care and thanks for being on the show. Yep. It's been 36 days since you were last here. Um, why are you back? Well, I might be pregnant by my father. I am two months pregnant, um, two months uh, behind on my period, and yes, I am on birth control pills, but it seems like it's not working. Um, then, were you trying to get pregnant? Um, last month, yes. Yes, I was. And again, um, I'm not up here to teach a biology class, but uh, I kind of explained in the last show why it would be uh, dangerous, why it would be so harmful for you and your father to uh, procreate. OK. No one has ever done this, like had a baby by, by their own fa fa oh, yeah, father. Oh, yeah, it's been done before many, many times. OK, but how do you know and if it's actually going to come out looking all weird? Scientifically, it's been proven Okay, that but that's just a method. <laughs> Science is a method? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, if you keep going through life that ignorant of the facts, I don't know how you're ever going to enjoy it. I really don't. Um, <laughs> what father would do that to his daughter? I wanted it too. And even if you did, I'm attracted even if you to him. Did, I'm even attracted if you to him. Did, I'm happy for the, for the first did. time in my entire life. I am happy. You're happy. Yes, I am. And that's why you're back. Yes. Okay.
Because um, another And you thing, also suspect your father's cheating on you. Yes, I do. That makes you happy? No. Okay. Why do you suspect that your father's cheating on you? Well, one of my family members came, came, came over to the house and she kept saying that she uh, wants him back and she wants to be with him and be a family. But I told her that just, just to make her go away from him, he is a whore. That's exactly what I, I told her. But, but in your mind, you don't believe he is? No. He's a really righteous stand-up guy. Yeah. I mean, you're not here saying, you know, I would think the progression of this show would be, hey, Steve, I really need your help. I'm sleeping with my dad. Can you help me not do that anymore? But no, you're here because you might be pregnant and you think your father's cheating on you, which, honestly, I could give a damn less. Um, Let's bring out your dad. Let's bring oh. out. <laughs> what do you mean you're trying to get pregnant? Well, I mean, you know what? I am eight, 18. I want to have seven kids. Do you understand what kind of what could happen to the kid? Yeah, but you know what? How how do you know that? And if you don't risk it, risk if, it. If you that don't ain't even a risk try. That we want to take. You won't even try. You want to risk that? Oh my God! Are you serious? Really? Yeah. I mean, come on. You really want this kid to come out with an arm growing out of its forehead or something? No, but how do you know? I mean, and if you don't even try. But I thought we agreed. How do you know? I know. Didn't we agree? Yes. Yeah, but we did. I want kids. When did you do this? Last month. What were you doing? Just Not taking your pill? pill? Yeah. Baby, why would you do that? I want to have your baby. I want to be with you for the rest of my entire life. I love you. I don't look at you as my father. I want to have a kid. Then why in the hell do you think I'm cheating on you? That's ridiculous. Because I'm a family member, and you already know who. Um, you're, you're, you're here, and you're mad at her because she might get pregnant, and you're worried about what could happen with the child being born, which you should. Yeah. But why the fact that your actions of sleeping with your daughter is causing that, that chance to happen. If you never slept with your daughter, that never could happen. Yeah, granted, but like I said, I mean, I thought we were taking every precaution here for her not to be pregnant. No, every precaution is not you know sleeping with your daughter. So, I mean. That's every precaution. Yeah, I mean, biologically, yeah, she's my daughter, but oh, I mean, God. I don't look at her as my daughter. I know, and I I mean, don't. if I did, I wouldn't be doing this. Again, what I, what I say to you is, yeah, you're looking at her and you don't see your daughter, no, which, is, which is a shame. Because every child, if they have their father, if their father's not deceased, their father should be in their life, should be protecting them, and you're failing to do that. You're not <laughs> I mean, bottom line is we're happy, and I don't care what anybody thinks. Right. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You guys think. So you guys think. Mm -hmm. You guys do not know Listen. anything about my, my life, nope. so just shut up. Do you not know anything about my, my life? Do you not know okay. anything about my life? Please, please, please. You don't Stop. know me. Listen. The fact that you're, you're revealing to the world, and this is what you want to do, because you said you came on the show because you wanted the world to know and you didn't want to hide, exactly the reaction that they're getting from this audience, this is what she's probably gonna have to go through every day of her life for the fact that you're sleeping with her. <laughs> and I know you don't look at her as your daughter, but she is. And is that what you want her to go through? Well, pretty much is, bottom line. I'm not leaving, I'm not walk, I, I mean, I walk to hell and back for this. This girl. And I would too for my and daughter. So, you know, if she ever decides one day she wants to walk away from me, then that's fine. I mean, I wouldn't want that, but. It's not oh, happen. God. There's a million things I wish I could do, like uh, straighten out your father so he would just be a dad. I would, uh, I'd like to be a mentor in your life. I'd like to uh, see you not go through the things that you've gone through in the past. I have nothing but hope and uh, prayers for you um, that you don't get abused again. And it would, man, it frustrates me to no end when I say that, and the guy that's doing it, the guy that's just piling on, 
and everything else that's happening in your life is your own daddy standing right next to you, and he's just jumping on the pile. <laughs> you don't want to take responsibility, but you're going to have to. Responsibility for what? You act for like what? a take her home every night and abuse her or something. You are abuser. Every time you sleep with her, you that's your opinion, yeah. Um, You've made it really clear that you didn't want to have a biological child with her, mm -hmm. knowing that she wasn't truthful and open and honest about taking her birth control. Knowing, does this concern you at all? That yeah, some of I mean, yeah. Do I feel betrayed? Yeah. Do, do I feel like um, the trust level is down? But you know what? I love her, and so you'll look past those trust issues. Yeah. What if? Uh, she just keeps doing it because she really wants your child. We have to talk about that, I guess. Okay, let's find out if uh, she's pregnant. <laughs> Brittany, you are not pregnant. Oh, yeah. you worry that your father's cheating on you and uh, you took a lie detector test to prove to your dad that you're not cheating on him. Brittany, before the show you came on and you took a lie detector test and you were asked, since you've been in a relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man besides Morgan? You answered no and the results is, Brittany, you told the truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Morgan, this is your lie detector results. Do you want me to read yours? Yeah. Do you want me to read your father's? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Morgan, you were asked, other than women she knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Brittany? You answered no. The results for that question is you did not tell the truth. We gave you test, uh, we not only gave you the test one, we gave you the t um. That's ridiculous. Morgan, no. uh, hold on, hold on. Please be quiet. No. Um, we gave you the test once, we gave you the test twice. No. Um, it's wrong. Well, she know, know you know, the, the problem is, she knows that she took the lie detector test and she told the truth. You. Well, you're not with her 24-7. Yeah, if you were, she wouldn't want to come this on the and take a lie detector test. This is ridiculous. I know what I've done. No. Um, no. No. I mean, uh -uh. we didn't call you guys up and no. say, hey, you want to find out if he's cheating? No. She wanted to know if you were cheating. I swear to God, my dad's great, but I've never cheated on her. Ever. Hold on. It is. Coming from a guy like you saying you'll swear on anybody's grave? I don't care. Grave, I don't get a whole lot. Whatever. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hold on. I wanna get out of here. I wanna get out. I don't wanna stay here anymore. When you were on the show last time, Brittany, I told you a lot of things. And I didn't tell you things to hurt you or scare you. I just told you things that I knew what was going to happen. 
And it's not because I can tell the future or anything like that. No, I can't. But what I can do is give you all the experience of what I've seen and what I know of. And this relationship can only end badly. Here you are again in a bad situation where a man's used you, a man's abused you, but it just happens to be the last man is your father. And I, again, what I told you, nobody, nobody wishes for you to have bad feelings right now or, or be hurt or be abused any longer. I can't, I, you, got, you, got to, you got to say, hey, I'm not going to let me be a victim anymore. I'm not no, going to let anybody abuse me. I thought it was me. different. I thought it was different. It's, it's, how could it be any different? <laughs> This, right off the bat, what, you, when you, with any man, he, he has the potential to abuse you. The first time any, your father looks at you in a sexual way, he's abusing you. The very first time. You came on the show originally because you wanted to tell the world, you and your father, what you were doing. We gave you that platform. Um, you wanted to come back and find out for sure if, whether you were pregnant or not. You found out you weren't. You wanted a lie detector test, we gave that to you. Um, at some point, you have to make a decision. Um, you're either going to leave this unhealthy relationship, and if you need help from me, I'll give you whatever help I can give you, uh, counseling, whatever, whatever we can do to help you. I would, I would do more than anything to try to help you with any situation that you're in. Um, even if you would leave with your father and call me back two months from now, two weeks from now, two years from now, we'll help you. Um, but at you know some me, point, stupid. you have you to stand up, if I did. Brittany, Thank at you. some point, you have to stand on your own two feet and make a decision. I'm either going to end this unhealthy relationship and I want help, or I'm just going to stay with my dad. Uh, you make the decision that you want to make. Come on. I swear to God, I really like to do that right now. That's 100%. All of it. All of it. Come on. Brittany, um, if this decision you make, um, that's the decision you make. My offer, because I'm going to walk away now. Brittany, could you just, uh, Morgan, I just want to say this. This is the decision you make, that's your decision. Just let you know my offer stands for as long as you need it. Two weeks from now, two months, two years, as long as I'm here, and at some point, if you ever decide you want to reach out, talk to somebody who need help, I'm here, all right? Good luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best. Only three weeks ago, I got a call from Brittany's mom. She wants to tell her side of the story and save her daughter from this unnatural relationship. Uh, Melinda, you, you saw the show the first time they were on? Yes, I did. And when you saw that, how did you feel? I thought, what the hell is going on? And I want everybody to know, this. I did not know what was going on until I seen the show. You didn't know that they were sleeping, sleeping together? Sleeping together. No, I did not. Um, I felt sick. I puked. I was pissed. Um, I tried to go to their house immediately after the show. They wouldn't answer the door for me. Um, so I went down to the police department and seen if they could uh, get arrest him for incest. And they can't because it was consensual. Um, I have no phone numbers to get a hold of her. The fact that Brittany is now an adult. Yes, correct. Um, I have no phone numbers to get a hold of her. Um, my family members have tried to get a hold of her, and it's been a year since this show aired. I have not talked to my daughter since then. Since then. Mm -hmm. They're accusing you of drugging your daughter, making a child pornography video with your daughter, prostituting her in exchange for drugs, allowing her to be molested, physically abusing her, having sex with your family members, and that uh, you're still being on drugs. They're lying, and the test will prove it today. Uh, I mean, is hmm. I, I believe that he's telling her all this to keep her with him. So none of that's true? No, sir. Okay. I hope it's not too late for me to 
to get her to come with me. And Brittany's what, 19 now? Yes, sir. You agreed to take a lie detector test, which we gave you, and we also gave you a drug test. Um, yeah. You said you've been clean for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. um, this show is really hard to do because everything I say just sounds like so crazy. Your daughter is sleeping with her father. What do you want to say to your daughter? I want to tell her that I love her. And if she's not ready now, I'm going to be here forever. So when she's ready, I want her to come home. Well, I want her to know that I'm sorry. And, and you know, you can't hear. I don't know what else to say to her. I mean, what I've done doesn't come close to what he's doing to her. That's right. That's it. Let's bring out Morgan. Why you sit up here and say you're the mother of the year? Why don't you tell them that you tried to kill her when she was little? Nothing I've you done. You abandoned her. You pimped her out. You're sleeping you with drugs. your daughter. You're sleeping you know, with your daughter. That? You slept with every family member you're that has a sleep. Touch me again. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell them that? You're why don't you tell them how you do with all your kids? Why don't you tell them that they got taken away from you? How many times? Whatever I've Five, done. Five, six times? That's right, they have. Oh, I've yeah. been clean for two years. Oh, you've been clean for two years. You're oh, that's sleeping with your daughter. That's an excuse. You're sleeping with your daughter. <laughs> you don't know. I got his. Yeah, walk off. Yeah, you can't tell them what you've done, huh? Well, she's abused all her kids. You know what? All of them. And um, she's she's put her son's head in a toilet. She's, and you know what, Morgan? I think uh, Melinda has said that she's made a lot of mistakes, that she was on That's drugs. That's a mistake. That she's done a lot of bad That she's done a lot of bad things. She admits bad it. things? But now she's here today and says, hey, I stopped doing drugs. I haven't been done doing anything, you know, oh, for so two years. Oh, so she on drugs. The point okay. is, she's at least making an effort to stop the evil that she did. What about you? Let me tell you something. Okay. When she first had Brittany, okay. First tell me. No. First tell me. Let are me you still something. sleeping with your daughter? Yep. I ain't answering that. Why? First of all, when she first had Brittany. Are you still in a physical she, relationship with Brittany? I ain't answering that either. First, she abandoned Brittany. So I'll take that she, as a yes. She dropped Brittany off in the project for two years. Two years. Okay? She wrapped a blanket around Brittany and threw her in the canal. One of her family members jumped in and saved Brittany. Yeah. Otherwise, she would have died. That's right. But that's a mistake, too, right? That's all no, it's because horrible. of drugs. It's a horrible crime you know, against a child. Brittany used to call me up when she was about 11, 12 years old. Wouldn't you old, agree by her doing crying, that? Crying, saying that, that, you that mommy any made feelings, me take my clothes off and put a blindfold on. If you had any for her and had, as a daughter and or had her a drug lover, dealers touch me. Let her that's go. a mistake, too, right? Hold on, let her go. Let's hold bring Brittany up. Let me talk to her, okay? Because I'm not telling Brittany nothing that she doesn't remember. Okay. You're sick. Oh, I'm sick? You don't remember either. You're oh, okay. You're sick. Yes. After you let all your yes. family members try to touch her? You're sick. Oh, I guess that didn't happen either, it's did it? It's all lies you put in her oh, head. Oh, it's all lies, yeah. You're sick. I didn't put nothing you in her head. You are sick. She remembers everything. Everything. Because you put it there. Oh, pfft. One time when I was living in Towers, I think you remember this, I called the police on her. I called the cops. I don't know what you said to them. But then she took off, and guess what? I didn't see her hear from her for like three, four years. She said you were Why? taking naked pictures of her and putting yeah. Look what you're doing now! You're a liar. Why did you call the police? Because she, okay, she told me. Liar. Okay, I'm a liar. You are. Why, a liar. Why did you call the police? You lied on the last show. Because she told me that she made her take her clothes off, blindfolded her, and let people touch her. So I called the cops. Okay. Because you wanted to I protect your dog. Yes. You uh, see, see the irony in that though. You called the police because somebody was going to touch mm -hmm. your daughter. That's right. And then you turn around and you sleep with her. <laughs> Why, at age 11, you picked up the police and you, you called the police to protect your daughter, but now you don't have that same... I do have that same, that same instinct. instinct to I protect do. your daughter from I danger. Do. No. You, you're, you're causing it to her. What happened? Nothing happened. Because now you look at her not like a daughter, but as a sexual being. Well, that was the last show, wasn't it? 
That was the last show? Mm -hmm. That was the first show, second show. Okay, hasn't whatever. changed, has it? I mean, the last show was so pathetic, she's trying to have your baby. I mean, that's what we need in the world, right? Yep. I'm going to ask both of you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to Brittany alone. Let's bring out Brittany. How you doing, Brittany? Hi. Um, are you still sleeping with your father today? Um, I don't want to, do, to discuss that. He doesn't make me do anything I don't want to do. Well, he's not forcing you, but you go into it uh, with, with consent is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. But we're not here to talk about me and him. You already, you already know, so we're here to talk well, about I my mom. Well, I have to establish that you, if you're still sleeping with him. Because if you weren't, then there would be no point of it, right? Right. Okay. Um, now, you know your mom is here. What do you have to say about that? I don't know why she is here. Because she, she's never cared. She's never cared. Why, why now? She will be sober for two years, maybe three, suppo supposedly. But I guarantee you she will get right back on those drugs. I know her. You know what? I'm not getting brainwashed. Not, nothing like that. Not I know anymore. her. I've seen her. You're not going to be brainwashed anymore? I've seen her with my own eyes, okay? She admits that she's she was abandoned a drug me. addict. She's abandoned me. She's tried to kill, kill, kill me and my other siblings, okay? She's not the kind of person you, know you think things? she is, How okay? Do you know these she's a manipulator. Manipulator. None of you know anything because you guys have never went through what, what I went through. You guys do not know anything. You guys do not know anything. None, none of you do. Okay. You don't know First her. First of all, who, who told you these things that your mom tried to kill you and all that? Because I was there. You okay? were there when she yes. tried to kill you? Yeah. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> what uh, I'm she, saying she is... She trying to kill you, me. How old were you at the time? Were, I was eight. You were eight? And how did she try to kill you when you were eight? She tried to drown me. She tried to drown you. Uh, in the canal, is that when she threw you in the canal? That's when I was a baby, but that was another time. Mm. Um, I'm talking about... And she was unsuccessful trying to kill a baby? My other family member jumped in and grabbed me. Um, you say your mother abandoned you, right? Yes. So did your father. He abandoned no, he you, too. Didn't. No, yeah. he didn't. I mean, she wants to show I'm everyone sure, out there I'm she's a goody two two shoes mommy of the weird okay. the she's not awards, portraying okay? herself to be that she's came on and said i was a drug addict mm -hmm. i made some really bad mistakes i was not yeah. a good mother right. she's yeah <clears throat> okay okay and what um, else she's certainly not portraying herself as mother of the year okay and we know yeah, morgan's not going to win father of the year um and I think the, the guy that's the big manipulator here is Morgan. Yeah. Uh, you guys are always against him. You guys are always against him. Whatever. You guys don't, you guys don't know anything. Okay. You're right. You don't know anything. I don't you're, know, you're, you're, I you're not there every day. I, you're right. You're not. I'm not there, and I wouldn't want to be there. Um, you guys have no reason to judge me. Okay. None, none of you guys do. Everyone you know has what? problems. When, when a and I'm pretty sure... Shut up. You guys have no reason to talk. When I think, I think people do pass judgment when anybody sees any parent, no matter what the age is, when they abuse their child. We all are going to pass judgment. Nobody wants to see a child being abused. I'm not being abused. I'm, I'm not being abused. I'm almost 20 years old. I'm an adult. I can do whatever Judge I want to do. And just I am... I You're am an adult. And just because... Okay? I'm not stupid like my mother always says I was. Behind my back, she talked about me behind my back, did everything to me that a mother should not do. She injected me with... As a little girl, she even tried to make child pornography with me and my siblings. Explain that. I was only seven years old, making us do, and they went and sold it. Her and her family.
family members. Um, you don't do that to your daughter. You don't. There are certain things you don't do to your daughter. Exactly. Like she sleep doesn't with love me. She doesn't love me. Yeah, you see, you see, you see, you see what you see what he's doing, but not what she's doing. She's wrong. She's always right, huh? And I want to say this. You guys just, don't make any sense. You just guys... because. Just because. Just because you consent to sleeping with your father does not mean it's not abuse. He's still abusing you whether you consent or not. Okay. 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 Let's bring your mother out. I want you to know that I love you. No, and all don't. them things you're saying ain't true. No, yes, I've done a lot of bad things. We'll see then. Brittany, I we'll love see. you. No, you don't. I love you. Mm -mm. What he's doing you to you is me. wrong. You don't love me. No, you don't. I, no. Yes, I, you went in foster homes. But the things you're saying is wrong, Brittany. They're all lies. Oh, yeah. He's telling lies. to you. It's he's lies. telling to you. Yes, it's lies. I've seen you. I put you in porno. I've seen you when I was a little girl. I, I injected you with drugs? Yeah. I took a test, brought Brittany. <laughs> you some of your family member, not me. Yes, you have. Brittany, I'm here to prove it to you. So I you're saying it like it's wrong. Well, if it's wrong, then what yeah, are you what doing? Yeah, what are you doing? You got it, Is that Brittany? No. That's your no, father not. that you're sleeping with. No, it's not. That's not his father. <laughs> that is his father. <laughs> you're lying. Brittany, I love you. you. Slept. You're sick. Yes, Brittany, you he's know. here to see you today. Your brother is here to see you. Yeah. Well, he I wants to see, see you. I don't, I don't want to see you. They he loves they you. Don't, they don't like me. He loves you. Don't he don't like, like Morgan. Nobody likes him. Yeah. Right. So. No. I love you. No, you don't love me. I love you with all my no, heart. No, you don't love me. I do love you. It's not no, you love right for you. He's sick. <laughs> you know what? No, he's not. He doesn't he's make me sick. do. He's sick. He doesn't make me do anything I don't want to do. He makes me happy. Don't you see that? He doesn't abuse he me. He makes you happy. He doesn't abuse me. He doesn't abuse you. I don't he sell you for drugs. Me drugs. I took a test. Is he? We remember that? You came over. You got some. Huh? Brittany, you. Brittany, please. You nasty. You Brit make me sick. You make me sick. You ruined my I life. I love you. <laughs> foster care and everything else. You don't. You don't care for you. But you. I don't care what you say you to anybody about? in the world. All you care, I about, care about you. All you care about. Over all of us kids. Brittany, I made mistakes. All of, all of us kids. But what I've done is all of us kids. You always chose guys all over us. Your all dad slept with you. Your dad left you. She left you. She was on drugs. Made a bunch of mistakes. Nobody did right by you. No parent. Um, but she is here. People, they wake up and they realize, man, I my whole life. I need to. After seven times. After uh, You know what? Some years? people, some people after seven, eight, nine, a hundred times never get it straight. At least she's trying now. I mean, she's trying. <laughs> Um, my point being, she came here and she took some uh, drug tests, a lie detector test. Will these tests make any bit of difference with you? If she's telling the truth, if she's shown that she's making efforts staying off drugs? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Um, Melinda, you've uh, stated pretty clearly on the show that you were addicted to drugs, drug addict. Yes, sir. And because of being on drugs, that you did a lot of bad stuff. Yes, sir. What kind of drugs were you on? Crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Um, and you've since stated, since you've been on the show, that you've been off drugs for a couple of years. Yes, sir. Um, that you're trying to straighten your life up, make amends with your daughter. I have custody back of my son and everything. Okay, very good for you.
you took a drug test and you passed for taking any kind of narcotic, uh, you did fail the drug test for marijuana. Yes. Okay. Um, I told them that too. We listen. You're being honest. You you failed for marijuana, but you you have tested clean for cocaine and other such yes, drugs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, now your mom came here again. Um, I certainly would. Oh God, I would hope if I made a lot of mistakes in my children's life that, you know, I would wake up one day and no matter what age, whatever, I would try to reconcile and, you know, hopefully I never go down the path of your mom. But I understand why she's here, only because as a parent, no matter how old your child is, they're always going to be your child. Um, and she took a lie detector test and we asked her, did you ever physically abuse your daughter? She said yes. She confesses to whipping you with the belt. Did you ever drug your daughter, Brittany? She said no. She told the truth. See? See? Oh, okay, See? okay. I don't know if you want to I know, I know, but. Remember, I'm, I don't believe that she's believing this because she remembers it. I believe it because it's him. I be, so save, yeah. your, save your anger for Morgan. Um, did you, uh, yeah, we did we cover it. Did you ever drug your daughter? Did you ever make a child pornography video with your daughter, Brittany? She answered no. She told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you ever trade your daughter to men for sex in exchange for drugs? She said no. She told the truth. Did you knowingly allow your daughter to be touched in a sexual manner by an older man? She answered no. She told the truth. Thank you. Yeah. Did you ever have any sexual relationship with a family member? She answered no. She told the truth. Just so we finish with the test, um, we also asked her a couple more questions. When Brittany was about one year old, did Morgan see her and acknowledge yeah. that she was his daughter yeah. because she looked like him? She answered yes. She told the truth. Yeah! Told you seven. He lied again. Yeah. You Sarah liar. told you that too, didn't she? They all told you. Melinda asked for this question. You are sick. Melinda, I lied. Melinda asked this question no, to be man. added to the test, and no, we liar. asked it. Do you, I love you. Do you love your daughter, Brittany? She answered yes. She told the truth. I love you. I love you. Ask him that. Ask him. Brittany, please. I love you. What's please don't worry about him. She's going out a different door today. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I thought you, I thought you were telling the truth about everything. What? I thought you were telling the truth. Brittany, please come away from him. Look at him. He's sick and twisted. Oh, I told the truth. You passed your test, did you not? Because you were telling the truth, he failed because he's a liar. I passed every test they asked me. Every question, I passed. I love you. Please don't go away with him. Brittany, will you come Please, if you don't want to go with me, if you don't want to go with me, don't go with him either. Please. Please come on stage with me. Please don't go with him either. 
You know, you've been believing a lot of these things that you've been told by Morgan about your mom, and a lot of it's just not true. Um, you yourself have taken a test, and you know when you're telling the truth, and your mom obviously telling the truth about many things. Again, I'm not going to excuse her behavior. A lot of things that you said is obviously very true. She was a drug addict and was a piss poor mother to you. The one thing is, I think even as clouded as you've been in your judgment with Morgan, I think you know, I think you know deep down that he is manipulating the situation to get what he wants. Um, because listen, last time, I don't think that you doubted his lie detector results. Um, he was able to reel you back in. Um, he obviously has fed you about things about your mother that obviously you found out that are not true today. Because I, I think, you know, your question, I mean, you know it. Morgan's a sick dude. And he's really, any man that has a daughter is not going to do this to his daughter. Is not. No matter, no matter what. Um, only met me a couple times. My only interest in you is, so, is that you're happy and you're not abused anymore. That's all I have for you. That's all I want for you is for you to be happy and for people to stop abusing you. I am happy. You don't look happy. Every time you're on my show, you never seem happy. When you have discussions with Morgan, it's not of happiness. You know that and I know that. Listen, you're not going to change your life overnight. That's not going to happen. But you can take a step into changing your life. And I, and I'm, and I, I, want, I want it to end today. I really, I don't want you to go back home with Morgan. I don't, I don't want you to be with Morgan anymore, only because I don't want you to throw your own life away. I want you to leave the stage and tell me at least, the very least, Steve, I'm going to try. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try. Um, well, you've done that twice, so you've been on the show twice, you've done it twice, you've left with Morgan. Um, I hope you give your mom a chance, and she's, is there anything you want to say to your mom before you leave? I can't do no. No. Um, Well, you have some knowledge in your pocket now. You know that your mom uh, has told the truth about a lot of these lies that were said about her. Um, you know that she's certainly making an effort. She lost her son and she got him back. Um, she's, she's, she is making an effort. People make mistakes. Hopefully she... I appreciate that, but I'm not ready. And, 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 and I understand that. And that's not what the show's about. I'm not trying to reconnect you with your mom. I mean, it'd be nice, but that's not the ultimate goal here. One show is not going to make up for I many understand. years. I understand that. Okay. But what I, what I do hope for is that one show, we get you away from Morgan. And, He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, I get on, I'm late. <laughs> 
what you've done to her. Look, all the lies you put in her head. Look. Go ahead, Morgan. Oh, dang it. Right. Yeah. yeah, you love her, don't you? You sick, oh, you sick. I can't, I can't stand him. <laughs> He's lying, Brittany. He's lying to you. This whole time I proved everything that you just put in her head. You sick. <laughs> everything you said. Oh, God. It's not her. If you love her at all, let her go. Make her leave you. Brittany. You sick. Brittany. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the fact of it is. She's leaving with him. She's leaving with him. Yeah. Um, you did your best. She's an adult. She can do whatever she wants. Can I tell her something? Of course. Then whenever you're ready, I'll be there. Whatever he's not there, because he won't be there for long. She's coming to me. I guarantee it. Um, I guarantee it. I love you. If you ever need help with anything, Obviously, this is a massive amount of weight being poured on you all the I time. Hate you. It must be hard to stand in your position. You have my number. As long as I'm doing this, my goal is to someday come and you're going to say, I'm done with this. I want help. I hope that day comes. Maybe it never does, but I hope that. I hope someday you tell me that you're going to start your own family, that you're pregnant by somebody other than this guy. I hope. Good luck to you. Again, I say that all the time too. I hope something changes. I hope that day will come soon. You have my number. I received a voicemail from Morgan and I was shocked to hear what he had to say. Let's listen. Hey Morgan, um, Brittany has changed her mind. She wants to actually go stay with her mom. So if you could please come back and I'll give you my number so you can go to her mom so she can call here and talk to her. After hearing this, I had a glimmer of hope. But later, we received another voicemail. Here it is. Miss Morgan, um, just to exclude that message, uh, me and Brittany was a little bit of an argument, and I was mad and stupid. Yeah. But everything's okay. Yeah. So I was a little hurt because I don't know, it's stupid. So everything's fine. So I just want to call and you know that. Hey, thanks, Mike. Brittany's back with an update. Let's bring her up. Brittany. Nice seeing you. Thank you. So, um, since the last time you were on the show, what's happened? Well, um, I we had went home that night from off of the airplane and stuff, and uh, we had gotten into a argument saying that I wasn't, you know, like take like um, taking his side. I wasn't being supportive and things got worse and then the next thing I know I'm on the floor and he has me pinned down and then he starts to slap me and starts to choke me and stuff and after that uh, I kind of just knew that this is not what I wanted and I did. And that, and that physical violence against you that's what kind of opened your eyes to what was going on? You, you helped me and so did my mom. First of all, your dad let you down. He wasn't a big part of your life. And because of that, there was a void where other men were able to come in and they, they abused you and they took advantage of you. Um, we didn't cover a lot of that on the show and we're not going to, but mm -hmm. you were in some bad situations before your father came back into your life. And I always felt like he was just jumping on the pile of all these bad men and instead of coming back in your life and protecting you, he just jumped on a pile and I'm going to be another one of these guys that abuses and, you know, his, his own daughter. Uh, do you believe that your dad was brainwashing you? Yes. For three years, I couldn't talk to my family members. I couldn't talk to my mom, my brother. I couldn't... He kept um, you very isolated. Yeah. I couldn't go anywhere. Without him, him there, I couldn't even go on, like online and try and try to get into contact with him, and I couldn't even have a phone. I mean, he even broke my last phone. I mean, I wasn't allowed to even talk to them whatsoever. And he made 
he made it seem like my, my family was out to get me and turning it around, but really he was. Right. Do you watch it with, I, I want to know what you're thinking now, because right now you seem very... I was uh, so stupid. I don't know why I did it. I really don't. I don't really have an, an explanation. I believe there is an explanation. I think it's you wanted your dad so bad in your life, and I'm not a doctor. This is just a, a theory. Yeah. Um, and I think it's you wanted to be close to your dad, and your dad just used incredibly uh, selfish behavior with you, um, just deplorable, deplorable uh, what he did to you. Um, but it's good to see that you finally snapped out of that. And, uh, Now you are in a relationship, though, right? Yes. You, uh, what would you call him, your boyfriend? Yes. And how long have you been dating? Just a month. A month. Yeah. And his name is? Kurt. He um, is my dad's friend. And Kurt, does he treat you well? Oh, yes. He treats me like his uh, What's princess. his relationship like with your father now? I don't, well, they don't talk, and neither do I. I oh, don't so you talk don't to him. Oh, so you have any, uh, so you don't talk with your father at all? No. Does he try to contact you? No. He doesn't. Mm -mm. So he's just moved on to basically his next victim. Let's beat Curtis. Hi. Brittany, I love you. I love you. I'm glad you're out of that situation. I love you. Now, you, you knew her dad. Yeah. Uh, are you still friends with him? Or? No, I haven't talked to him in a while, and I don't plan on it. When you, when you would know, you obviously knew about this situation uh, from TV, with her being on the show. What, what was your thoughts about your friend sleeping with his own daughter? Well, I thought it was sick and horrible and disgusting. You haven't spoken to your mom or seen her. No. How come? I thought she went and let me back into her life. I thought that it, it was over. I thought I wouldn't get like another chance with her because of what I did to her on that show. I pushed her away. I mean, you've even seen it. I pushed her away from me. Well, we want to help rebuild your family life, and your mom's here. Let's bring her out. Listen, what a great relief. She's away from Morgan. He's out of the picture. What do you, what do you want to say to her? I love you. I love you. No matter what, this is a past. We're going on. We got the rest of our lives, honey. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Nothing, nothing so was your sorry. fault. Nothing's your fault. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. The way that Everything's all right. You. I didn't mean to. It doesn't matter. Everybody makes mistakes, honey. <laughs> Everybody does. You're like <laughs> this this <laughs> story, it, it messed with my mind because when she came on and for three times, and I couldn't get her away from her father. I felt like I failed. And you didn't fail. <laughs> I, I was trying, believe me. Um, it was nice to see mom. You, of course, made your own mistakes, but you love your daughter, and you came on and you wanted to protect her. And it is said that a year has to go by, and, but hopefully this is the start of uh, you having a normal, loving family and being there for her. What do you hope for your daughter? To be happy, to be in my life again. I'm staying in your life. We're not going anywhere. Um, I just don't think it's possible. I, I don't. I don't think this would have been possible without your help. Honestly. Me too. I Bringing really me don't. on the last show and letting me show well, how I Well, you spoke I a lot of sense. You spoke a lot of truth, and I hope that made an impact on her because what? what you were saying made a lot of sense. And 
Not only is your mom here, uh, one of your brothers is here. Let's bring him out. Okay. Yeah, he's taller than me. Um, <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Uh, the crazy thing was, you were here last time yes, to sir. see your sister, but the show obviously got didn't go as well as we hoped, so you didn't get to see your sister that time. Um, it's been a long. When is the last time you saw your sister? It's been over four years. Four I'm years. Yes. Yeah. Four yeah. years is a long time, and you're only 16. Yes, sir. Is there anything you want to say to your sister? I mean, I'm so happy that you left him. He was just. All he was doing was bringing you down. Uh -huh. I mean, you're a beautiful young girl, and you can get whoever you want. You didn't have to deal with him. Well, you guys are in my life now. I'm so happy. That looks so good. <laughs> I've done this show for six years now. Six years and a lot of uh, terrible stories. Uh, some good stories. And mm -hmm. this is a story that I never wanted to give up on. You're not going to believe how happy this is to make me that you are out of that situation and that you have a chance at happiness and I hope it continues for you. And I'm, I'm really relieved that you are out of that nightmare. And I'm... Thank you. Can I just say something right quick? I need to say something. Uh, I don't think that I would be here right now and if it wasn't for you. I really do. Well, and I'm, so I'm, I'm glad I was able to help and remember now you, you have me. You can always call me if you get in a bad situation. But you have your mom now. You have a brother. And, and they don't want anything from you but love. But never let a man ever make you a victim again. Don't let anybody abuse you. If that happens, you turn to your mom, you turn to your brother. And if you need, you call me. And we'll make sure it stops. Okay? Thank you so much.